It's an amazing day. What's up, you two? What's cool? What's great? What's happening? It's time for life, and it's time for love after love, come, baby. So today we have Shanda and Tyrese. <laughs> Do you couple every single day? So. Therese is still rocking the blue suit, okay? Turns out it's only been two hours since Shanda has been set free from prison and now they're on their way to the train, to the bus station actually, that's gonna take her to her halfway house. Where, by the way, she's gonna be stuck for months, months, and this halfway house is in Kansas and I think he's in Chicago. So, she's over there in the car still eating the little bit of chicken that's left because she needs to catch this bus so they didn't have time to go to the hotel that he has over there to do the tan 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 out because basically she gotta go and tyrese has made it very clear that the tan 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 is not even all that's on his mind he doesn't really care about that all he wants he wants to get to know her he wants to get to know her mind it feel good to actually get to know her see what he is there wow awfully refreshing he's about the same age ish as sean from a few days ago and sean over here he did everything boom bam 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 very quick but this guy here wants to take his time then they're actually standing around and talking about their relationship and you know shanda drops that you know she can see potential that's right but i do see a potential future for us i do too i do too turns out they've only been together for three and a half hours before they get to this bus station okay so in three and a half hours of being in the real world this is the conclusion that she has come to that they have potential and he's like yeah he agrees he agrees and i'm like you do all this for potential you better be like you better be like so certain that this is the person this is going to be your person this is the person that you want to marry like but then she even says that it feels kind of weird being out of prison it feels kind of weird now that i'm out it makes me feel kind of weird the relationship will feel kind of weird because on the phone it's like all cutesy cutesy and even if it's visitation like you're seeing this person it's in a whole other setting. It is not in an outside real world setting, right? So in any case, I know Tyrese is mentioning that he does know that people do get out of prison and they use people for their money and stuff like that. But he doesn't think that Shanda is going to do that. Shanda is aware that he's got three kids of his own and that the oldest is the same age as she is, which is 28. So that's kind of interesting. Then actually, before all this, when they're in the car, Tyrese says that they're going to prove everybody wrong because that there's a lot of people that are kind of concerned about the age difference, but that they're going to prove everybody wrong. And Shanda is like silent for a while and then she's like, Yeah? Yeah. And that, yeah, is almost like a, yeah. Like a question mark, yeah. I don't trust that, yeah. You know, it's not with confidence. It's not, there's no power behind it, you know, but... You know how sometimes they edit these shows very weird. So maybe she said that yeah at another point and they just put it there to make her seem very dodgy. I don't trust nothing or nobody. In any case, then they stand and all of a sudden they're at the bus bus station and he's like, Oh, do you have one of those tags that you put on your luggage and stuff like that? And she's like, No. He's like, Oh, let me go and get one for you. So boom, 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 there he goes in his blue suit. That blue suit has put in work. That blue suit has been all over the town that day. Anyway, so he goes to look for this tag. Did you get a name tag for your luggage? No, Did I didn't have one. And then she's like, she's like having a serious face. And then she turns and she's like, because she asked him for money before that as well. And he was like, yo, but you want me to give it like out right here? Are you just going to send me some money or what? Uh, the money. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm, you know, I want to put it on the phone of people. Oh yeah, I know, but when the f I'm about to get on the bus right now. Uh -huh. And she's like, it's for this and that and for hygiene. And yeah, it turns out it's $200 for clothes and hygiene products and whatever else. Huh? Uh, it's for clothes and stuff whenever I get home. I don't have any hygiene. It's so sad, actually, if you think about it. These people already, they've been incarcerated. Most of them don't have anything. They've lost their houses. They've lost even their friends. They've lost their acquaintances. They've lost their family. They've literally lost everything. Because everybody just flees. They just go away because they don't want to deal with the nonsense. They don't want to deal with the stress. And they go. And maybe it's very toxic as well to be friends or be related to or be in a relationship with these type of people or have a relationship with. It's people that go into prison, so everybody flees. And sometimes they have nothing but the clothes that they came in with. And they are so happy to get out, but they don't have anybody or anything. That's why all these inmate relationships are becoming very, very popular. Because then at least you have somebody on the outside who's obviously going to care for you and cater to you financially. And this Shanda chick, she's talking about clothes and just like hygiene, which would be like your toothbrush, your toothpaste, your, your menstrual products, all these type of things. And I'm like, so why is it that she has not... Like, why is it that she does not have money, that she does not have support from anywhere else? You know, 
it's a sad thing it's a strange thing but anyway she gets that money and they're not gonna see each other for a while Terry's like I will try and visit her and that's that and the bus goes off and that's Shonda gone and from that smile that she did I was like I really hope that she's legit I hope that she's legit that she really likes him because she said what that there's potential she sees a potential future she also said that she feels weird like now that she's out with him like in the open in the real world she feels weird and then the money thing made her just a little bit too jolly jolly but at the same time there's nobody else to give her financial support I guess so that's why she's happy with that but I hope that she's not just using him as a cash cow. He seems like a very nice, genuine guy. But he, this chick is like half his age. Like, I don't know what these people are doing or thinking. But, hey, -ho, we'll see how that ends up next week. And tomorrow there will be another couple on this channel. Because there's new day, new videos every single day. This is a lifestyle channel though. We do everything up in here. So it's not only love after lock up, there's loads of other videos. In the meantime, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit the bumps thumb as on to that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Is Shanda for real or might she be playing Tyrese? And like the video because you obviously like the video. Why should I hit the notification bell? I'll see you in the next one, which will be very soon, tomorrow. Make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless.